I'm Keith Emery, part owner of Emery Farms, the home of LaCloche Holsteins, the famous Canadian kissing cows. I want to tell you a little bit about the history of kissing cows because people often ask me, how did Emery Farms become the famous home of the kissing cow? It all started back in medieval France. They wanted a little something to go with their wine. Cheese was perfect. A little French kiss along with that and you got a party. So history was great to kissing cows. The Puritans came along and put an end to that. But now the revival here in Canada, kissing cows. The chance that you should take. I want to introduce you to the beauties in my farm. Come on, let's go and have a look. So welcome to the uh, calf barn at Emory Farms. Uh, it's kind of like the epicenter of uh, kissing calves. These calves here are going to be in prime kissing condition in only a few short months. What makes a great kissing calf? I mean, we have plenty of great examples here. And these calves come from some of the finest kissing lineage of calves in the entire world. Mr. Marvelous had great lips. Mr. Fantastic, well, could kiss all day. Let me tell you, I've got lots of calves here from all of these great cows, and uh, what we're going to show you is some of the finest kissing that's ever happened on a Canadian farm. Now, this calf primed to be become a great kisser. Perfect jawline. Well known for long kissing in its family. Excellent length of tongue. Lip action. Fantastic. Now, calves like this don't just learn to kiss. They need to have kissing in their genes. Little kiss, honey. Little kiss. You can't believe how these calves want to kiss. They're ready to go, let me tell you. But you don't want to kiss just any old calf. These babies can take your face off if you don't do it right. Now this little calf, she may be small, but she's primed for kissing. Look at the symmetry. I mean, you don't want to kiss an ugly calf. That'd be too much like, you know, that night with Stacy Henneman in the back of your mom's van. Like, moo. So we need to talk a little bit about diet and breeding because, I mean, you can get terrible examples of kissing calves. Like, whoa, how'd this thing get in here? Definitely from a neighboring farm. I would never keep stock like this for kissing cattle on my own farm. Whoa! What makes a great kissing cow? Let me tell you about one of my all-time favorites. I keep her here close to my heart. Fawn Lady was a five-star cow in the Emery herd. LaCloche Fawn Lady, winner of five provincial titles, three national championships, and once went to the International Championships in Lausanne, France, where she won for all-time best suction, lots of tongue, and lip action that you can never believe. Fond lady, how I miss you. Some of the best hamburger I ever ate. Now imagining your best kiss ever. It doesn't have to be the most beautiful animal. Sometimes those speckled cows can give a tremendous kiss. Come on, baby. Just a little one. Come on, for me. Well, I hope it has been an enlightening experience. Well, thank you for coming to uh, visit us here at Emory Family Farms, LaCloche Holstein's the home of the famous Canadian kissing cow. 98 years of cow kissing, 17 provincial crowns, five national championships, three visits to the international championships at Lausanne, France. It's been a wonderful run, and I want to encourage all of you, students, talk to your co-op teacher, see about the opportunity to take, to learn about and experience kissing cows if it's done professionally or 
as an amateur sport. Join a local society. Folks, the opportunity to take and kiss those cows, it's one you should never miss. Thanks for visiting. <laughs>